this is Scotty with Sketches Garage and today we're working on the budget beater. Um, I decided to make a video to kind of go back over the premise of the car. Um, there's a few more people following the build and I think they're a little confused about a few things so I was just going to clear the air and let everybody know what the purpose of the car is or the premise. Uh, we drug the car out of a field. It had been sitting there for about 30 years. The guy was racing it and blew it up and pretty much well parked it. I, I purchased, it, purchased it off of Facebook, went and picked it up and it had been sitting beside my shop for a couple months and I decided well let's let's do something with it and I got to thinking I said well why don't we do a budget build. Uh, I see a bunch of budget builds on YouTube all the time with uh, numbers that I don't feel are realistic so I decided well let's do one where we show what it costs with real world costs and basically starting with nothing just a person who's got some money can spend X amount of dollars and go this fast. Uh, plus, I put it out there for everybody. Hey, what do you want to do it with? A big block, small block, LS. Um, at first, everybody went with big block. We took it and got it running and everything. We had about $3,700 in it, and the best we got out of it was an 812. Then we went to put a cam and heads and stuff in it and our short block wouldn't hold up for us so instead of waiting for machine work and stuff like that we decided to go ahead and put a small block in it and on the small block I threw a couple of different motors out there for you guys to choose from and pretty much well everyone wanted to go with the 400 so that kind of brings us to now uh, we got a small block in it we got a power glide with a trans brake and everything else is pretty much well what was on it from 30 years ago. Uh, the budget, we wanted to go 690s for 6900 bucks and a 69 Chevelle. Um, we're at $5,577 the way it sits right this second. That's basically all in. Uh, we got $1,800 in the car. We got $1,800 in the motor from the oil pan to the carburetor, so that's everything. Starter, distributor, plug wires, plugs, the whole shebang. We got $1,000 in the tranny, converter, and shifter. We got $30 in U-joints. We got $75 in a battery. $250 in wheels and tires. We have $15 in the passenger side a-arm, the ball joint was bad in it, and I went to price a new ball joint, and it was like 40 bucks, and the guy had just uh, converted his car over to tubular control arms. He told me he'd sell me a lower A-arm for 15 bucks, so I went that route. Uh, A-arm bushings, I got $40 in them. Got $90 in brakes. On the brakes, we pretty much well stuck with the stock drum or the drums that was on it, but we put new wheel cylinders, new rubber lines, and new hard lines where they needed it. We had $77 in battery cables and spark plugs. We have $150 in the MSD box. We got $40 in the set of headers. We got $50 in the seat, $60 in the fuel cell, and then we have $100 in the radiator, fan, and front radiator hoses. So, so far the best. We got out of the small block. We went a 703. I was really surprised with that. I kind of figured it would be a 740, 730s. But she, she really surprised me. And I think we can get it to go probably a tenth or two faster with some suspension work. It's really not that happy. It kind of looks like a pretzel when it goes to take off. But that's kind of understandable. All the body body bushings in this car are pretty much well toast. All the control arm bushings in the rear, they're, they're all but non-existent. And the shocks are, are hideous. Check this out right here. So it definitely needs some love in the suspension area. Um, I think uh, I was going to throw it out there to you guys. Should we hit the front suspension first or the rear suspension? Uh, just leave a comment below and the popular vote by Thursday morning at 8 a.m. We'll fix that section first and then we'll go racing on Saturday, Friday or Saturday, one of the two days. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey guys, there's one more premise behind this build that I wanted to let you guys in on or kind of let you know. is 
I know a lot of times we watch these shows and we hear about this, this part, and it's going to make this big difference for us, or it's going to do that, or do this, or there's a lot of shows out there that'll do a dyno and a, one cam will make 10 horsepower more than the other. But I don't really see a lot of that with uh, real world numbers. I don't see a lot of people doing it to where they put change the cam in this motor. We know this motor goes has been the best of a 703, put another cam in it and go take it racing. There's a few shows that do that, but most of them are sponsored shows. So how biased are they really being on their products? Uh, me personally, my purpose is I want to put some stuff on this. This is a perfect example. We're going to use this as a test mule. We're going to try four or five different carburetors on it. I'm going to put it out there for you guys which one to choose first. Uh, we're going to put some fuel injection on it and see how it works. And uh, we're just going to use this, this thing for a test mule to let you know before you spend your dollar if it's worth it. You know, I've already spent my money, and I could talk to you till I'm blue in the face about my opinion, or I could show you the difference in a car, and then you can be like, well, I, I like that, and I don't like that, or I like this, and I don't like that. So uh, that's another premise behind this build. Uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a good day. Talk to you all later.